All right, good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut, and today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your Samsung phone without it being released via OTA yet. So if it's a staged rollout and it just isn't showing up on your phone yet, I'm gonna show you how you can find, download, and uh, install the current firmware on your device. Um, so the first thing we're gonna need is a program called Freya right here. Just Google it, you can find the latest version online. Um, and I'm saying that because if I put a link, the link's gonna be outdated. So like I said, just Google it. It'll take you to the most recent version, um, most likely on XDA developers, somewhere like that. You're gonna wanna extract that and then open it up. It's gonna look like this right here. Um, and so what we're gonna do is you're gonna type in your model number. Um, so mine is the S23 Ultra. It is the factory unlock, the Samsung unlocked version. Um, so for me, that is going to be the SM S918U1, and that is going to vary by region. So if you're in the USA, the U1 is going to be your Samsung unlocked one, and the S918U is going to be your um, carrier versions. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. Um, I don't know which one you have. I'm not going to be able to help you with that. It's just going to depend on where you buy it, what carrier you're on, and what country you're in. Um, and then the CS. C for mine is going to be XAA. If you go to settings on your phone, you can find all this, like your model num, uh, your model name, um, that will be in your about phone section. And then if you go to software information and you scroll down to service provider software version, you can see the original CSC that your phone shipped with. It's gonna have your SIM card CSC in there, so whatever carrier you're currently on. And then the one on the very end is going to be the one that it was originally, which like I said, mine is XAA. So we have that in here, so we know what we're downloading. And then we're just gonna to wanna to hit check update. And then it successfully found the latest firmware. Now right now, they're, uh, they just started releasing a new version yet, so it hasn't been uploaded. Um, so this is actually one version behind, but if this were the latest and you wanted to download it, you would just click download and we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And it's going to just give us a spot to download it. So we're going to put it in downloads just so I know where it is. And it's going to start downloading. Um, this is an 8.3 gigabyte file roughly. So it's going to take a bit just depending on your internet speed. Um, but while that downloads, I'm gonna put this over here in the corner. I'm gonna do this all in real time for you guys. We're going to open up a program called Odin, um, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you always have the latest version of Odin. Um, right now at the time of this video, it is 3.14.4, um, and that's because it's going to affect the drivers and stuff like that for connecting to your phone. So if a newer, a newer phone comes out and you have an older version of Odin, um, it may not connect to your phone properly. So um, you're gonna just wanna open that, click okay there. Now you can see here my phone is connected. Um, you're gonna wanna put your phone in download mode. That does vary based on which device you have exactly. So just Google Samsung download mode and your device and you'll be able to put it in download mode. You're gonna have to turn your phone off. Most phones now it's uh, turn the phone off, hold volume up and volume down and plug the phone into your computer and the phone will start up in download mode. Um, so once this downloads, I'm going to show you where to put the files and which files to use um, because there are a couple different ones and you don't want to mess that up because one of them will wipe your device. Um, so that's going to be your CSC file right here. Um, all right, so as you can see here, the download just finished. So once that is done, we will open it up. It's just gonna check that real quick before it's just verifying the file. Let's see if it shows up in downloads yet. All right, so yeah, that's not completely done yet because that's not a folder. Um, so we'll give it a few more seconds here. Um, let me do, never mind, it is done now. So we'll go ahead and close this. Um, we will, I'm just going to open it right here in this so you guys can see everything at once. Um, but it's going to open it up, uh, it's going to open it up in a zip folder. We're going to want to just, let's see, going to extract this. All right, maybe not. It looks like there might be an issue with that folder or that file. So, um, we're going to pretend it worked though and I'm going to show you what you're gonna put where. So you're gonna get um, 
basically four or five files. When you download that and you extract it, it's going to extract into four or five files. They're all going to be labeled BL, AP, CP, and CSC. So you're going to want to just match those up. Just click here, click the file, click here, click the file. But when you get to CSC, that's going to be where you want to be careful. There's going to be two of those. There's going to be a home CSC and there's going to be a CSC. Home CSC will keep your stuff intact. Um, so that's going to not erase your data. It's not going to format your device. But if you use the regular CSC, that's going to format your device. If you're updating your device, you're going to want to use home CSC so it keeps your data intact. You're not going to want to wipe your phone for an update. But you will want to wipe your phone if you are doing a restore or if you're going back a version. So if you're going back a version, you want to use CSC. If you're upgrading, you want to use home CSC. And then most of the times, you're not going to put user data in there. Again, that's going to be something that will wipe your data if you use a user data file. Um, but if you're switching your CSC um, or uh, setting your phone up brand new, you might need to use a user data file. And that should be included in that uh, that folder if you're going to need that but again most times for an upgrade you will not need to do that once that's all done and your device is connected in download mode click start it'll run through its thing once it's done you'll get a pass message up here your device should restart and then if you're upgrading it should just boot back up you should be good to go after that if you are um, wiping your device and uh, going back a version or like I just said, restoring your device, um, you're going to go to the setup screen and set your device up as new. So that is going to be how you do all that. That's how you flash your device with Odin, and that's how you download the latest software. I'm Kamala with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.